number of cylinders, uh, number of squirts per cylinder. Generally, this is two or four, depending on on a V8. You may have four. Uh, most engines are probably two. Because I'm running sequential, I'm going to leave that on one because I'm only putting one squirt per engine cycle in um, simultaneously. But um, this is I've I've had to leave mine on simultaneous because of the settings of duty cycle. In order for the ECU, sorry, in order for Tuner Studio to work out the duty cycle, these settings need to be like this for sequential. So if you had a six cylinder, obviously you'll, you know you'd change this to six and uh, the number of injectors to six, and then the duty cycle would be correct. Um, but generally speaking, on like say for instance a Rover V8, you'd have batch f fuel, so you'd have simul oh, sorry alternating fuel. Uh, two, oops, two, all right, two squirts per cylinder. Or maybe four, and um, so basically, what that means is that, that squirt half the amount of fuel in one cycle, and then half the amount of fuel required fuel in the next cycle. The valve only opens and closes once per cycle, anyway, so the fuel isn't wasted or anything like that. Don't, you know, it's just it just sits there cooling the valve, and um, doing what it should be doing. I'm going to put that back to one on mine, and simultaneous, simultaneous and one. Simultaneous and alternating basically is um, fires both banks together. Alternating fires one bank, then the other bank, then the other bank. Then the other. That's so as you share the. Um, if you've if you've got a V8 and you put all eight injectors on at once, the fuel pressure could drop quite considerably. If you alternate them, then um, you'd end up with um, four Ben squirted at once, and then next then another four Ben squirt. So you don't get a sudden drop in pressure, fuel pressure. Even fire, most engines are even fire. If, if there's an odd fire crank, if you've got an odd crank, um, then things get a bit complicated. I'm going to leave it at even. Engine size and injector size, same as what you used in required fuel, but this is just for calculations so as the Tuner Studio software can work out um, what, uh, how much fuel you're using. If you want to have a gauge, come up with uh, miles per gallon, miles per hour. Uh, sorry, um, your liters per hour and that sort of thing. Uh, sequential injection, fuel injection here. Um, we have this sort of feature. All of this is on MS3 as well, MS2 as well, and some of that's on MS1 as well. So um, that's uh, the same. Main fuel outputs. Um, if you're running sequential or using an MS3 X card, the MS3 X card is only available for the MS3. So if you haven't got an MS3 and you haven't got an MS3 X card, then you'll be standard fuel, um, which is batch fuel, two injectors, two injector banks, big pardon, um, that can run six injectors each. So you can run up to 12 cylinder, 12 injectors um, that fire. Um, Two banks, and uh, on the standard um, MS3 board, the MS sorry, the MS version three boards. If you've got two plugs on the back of your ECU, two 37-pin plugs, the basically the lower plug is the standard output one, the standard fuel one. And the upper plug is the MS3 card. Um, so if you've got an upper plug, so you've got two 37-pin plugs. Um, then the upper plug would be this one, the MS3 X fuel, and that then allows you, they've got the MS3 X card has got eight injector drivers on it, so you can run up to an eight-cylinder in fully sequential mode, like I'm doing. But if you haven't got the MS3 extra card, MS3 X card, then um, you'd just be able to use the standard fuel, which is batch fuel, two injector outputs, and that can run, like I said, up to a V12 in batch fuel. Um, fully sequential on mine. I've got a cam signal and a crank signal. You'd need a cam. You need a cam signal to run fully sequential. You can't just do it off a cam, a crank signal. Semi sequential, you can do it off crank signals and cam signals. Um, so on a, you can only run a four cylinder. If you were, had standard fuel, you can only run a four up to a four cylinder on semi sequential because. A semi sequential means firing two injectors at the same time. 
So uh, in, in a, um, a timed method, so you have a timing table to when to inject the fuel. Um, so if you had a six cylinder, you can't do it with um, you can't do with standard fuel. You'd have to have an MS3X card if you wanted to run semi sequential or fully sequential. But you'd, we'd discuss that. You just sort, sort that sort of thing out when you purchase or build them. Um, angle specifies. This is um, there's an angle table for where are, we, where are we? Injector timing table. That's a bit big. Let's just bring that back down again. Our size. <coughs> this timing table is what is the angle that the uh, fuel is squirted into for each cylinder. So minus 325 degrees. So it's 325 degrees before that cylinder fires. Or it's at top dead centre, beg your pardon. Um, you can change it so that angle means that's the middle of the squirt, the end of the squirt, or the beginning of the squirt. So uh, end of squirt means that as the squirts, as the time, the pulse width, the injectors are open for, um, that'll 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 squirt up to there, up to that angle. So uh, say for instance, you've got a um, 10 millisecond squirt, uh, you've been calculated. The 10 millisecond squirt will fire and finish at 325 degrees or where, wherever you are on this table. Um, uh, you could have it so as again if it's a 10 millisecond squirt, after five milliseconds halfway through the squirt, this angle means is the when it, when that start and stop. Uh, sorry. So basically, what that means is that after five milliseconds of halfway through the squirt, you'd be at that angle. And begin the squirt. So you start the squirt at 325 degrees before, and just, generally speaking, you want to be finishing the squirt at this angle. But there's a lot of theories and sort of people have different opinions on when and where you need to fire the uh, fuel in. But that's how you change it. Injector trim. You can turn the injector trim on and off. Basically, that's for having this is in sequential modes or semi sequential modes you can alter the fueling trim so you can add or decrease a certain amount of fuel to each cylinder on a, on a map so um, this is a, a three dimensional map so you can add say 5% of fuel at idle or around idle and then take some fuel out of each of one cylinder uh, as it increases in load and speed but you'd need an exhaust gas temperature probe in each cylinder to work this one out so as um, you get that done so you'd need to measure the exhaust gas temperatures data log them look at them uh, decide which cylinder needs a little bit more fuel when it needed more fuel which cylinder needed less fuel that's very complicated but it can be done and um, so this can, can ms3 and ms2 can do this That's a lot of tuning to do that, so we'll turn that back off again. Then the firing order. This is purely so as the ECU knows when you're in the trim which cylinder is connected to which injector driver. So uh, firing order is on my Rover V8 is uh, 1843 So the firing order on the ECU is always A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B, C, D, F, G, so on a four cylinder that'd be A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, um, a four cylinder sequential. So um, that's just so as when you go into the trims, when we we're in that cylinder trim, that them that them numbers there, what cylinders one to four, the EC, the tune software knows what actually what bank of injector drivers it's adjusting. So that's what they're for.